Hi, I'm Emily Shaw from Scholastic. I come from Rockville, Maryland, and today we will be interviewing Mr. Craig Fugate. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Craig Fugate. My pleasure. So my first question today is, next week is National Severe Weather Preparedness Week. Why is it important for FEMA to sponsor it? Well, in partnership with the National Weather Service, we think that you know, when you look at all the things that we deal with, weather-related disasters is the one we, we go to and respond to the most. And it's really important that people understand the risk of severe weather, like tornadoes and flash floods and what to do. And we really work with our state and local partners to talk about preparedness. So this is a great opportunity for us to help get the word out. And we appreciate the opportunity to talk about something that we hope doesn't happen. But with severe weather, you never know. It's best to be prepared. What are some basic things people need or should do to prepare for severe weather or a natural disaster? Well, we recommend that the first thing people do is to think about their family and about the things that can happen in their community, could happen at their home, and get a plan. And, you know, we want people to have first a good communication plan. Because if you're at school and your parents are at work and something happens, does everybody know how to communicate, get word to each other, and let people know they're okay. And what happens if you're in school and something happens and you can't go home? Do your parents know what the plan is at the school? So we, we ask people to get a plan. Start with the most basic stuff about what could happen in a communication plan. And then get a kit. Get some emergency supplies. And we have a website. It's www.ready.gov where you can go and find out the things you can do to get your plan ready, but also the supplies you may need. So if a storm does hit and the lights go out, you've got a flashlight and batteries. And if it's really bad, you may have some additional things like a first aid kit or other things that would be useful in a disaster. Do you think you should prepare the same things for an earthquake, like for the same things as a tornado? A lot of them are very similar. You know, think about it from this standpoint. Um, what are the things you're going to need first if the power goes out? And in an earthquake, you may have that, and you are going to need a flashlight. Well, what about getting information? Well, TV may be out, but what about a battery power radio? Because I can get hold of a radio station. Maybe I can get some information that way. What about a first aid kit? And if I'm going to have to deal with things like extended outages or there's a lot of damage, Maybe some things like some important papers, maybe like um, some additional supplies, medication, things that I would need that if I didn't have for a couple of days, would, I, I would need. And then you start talking about food and water and other things that it's always good to have just in case you can't get to the store. So what can kids do to help their families and communities prepare for a natural disaster? Well, the first thing you do is when you get home is ask your parents, what would we do if there's a, a tornado? What would we do if there's a flood? What would we do if there's a fire in our home? I mean, a lot of times we talk about disasters. Sometimes they don't have to be big external. Sometimes uh, some of the things that could happen at home can be a disaster. So what happens if there's a fire? And if they're not sure, tell them about ready.gov and that you can go to this website and it's got a lot of good tools to get ready for plans, whether you live in an area that has earthquakes or you have hurricanes or even blizzards, severe weather, and take steps to get ready. And there's a lot of activities on there for students and kids to look at for them to get ready. And we've also introduced a couple of new employees at FEMA. I don't know if you ever heard of Flat Stanley. Um, it's a project used for teaching and about reading and about geography. And Flat Stanley is a character that's created out of a book that's used oftentimes in a teaching mode. They've also come to work for to FEMA. And so if you like, I'd like to introduce you to Flat Stanley and Flat Stella. Okay. Um, this is Stella and this is Stanley. They're two of our characters. And one of the things that we have done with the Flat Stanley folks is we've set up a page where people can go there with their Flat Stanleys and send them to FEMA. And it's an app you can have and, and interact with Flat Stanley, but also learn about preparedness. And so Part of what we're trying to do is provide tools to teachers and to parents to help kids learn about preparedness and tie it into things that are already out there. So if you haven't heard of Flat Stanley and Flat Stella, 
We invite you to go to FEMA.gov, look at our kids section at ready.gov, learn about the flats and what they do to help get ready. And also that this is a resource for teachers on how to introduce uh, the flat Stanley as part of their curriculum in reading and, and geography and tie it to preparedness.